Moving on from that one, we've got this interesting post here, courtesy of the Berghain subreddit, I want to quickly mention. The Berghain subreddit community, or the Berghain community subreddit, is one of the, my favourite subreddits out there. Up there with the Fire and the Kid, up there with Red Scare, um, which, which, which others do I use? Up there with the Soccer fucking subreddit, um, up there with the Techno subreddit, up there with Public Freakout subreddit. I fucking love the Berghain community subreddit. And I thought this post was super funny, because a lot of people were in the comments didn't agree. So the um, the title is sharing a cabin means you have to share also your stuff. Yes or no. And basically when they mean cabin, they mean basically a toilet, right? So if you go into the Berghain or most clubs within Berlin, they, they usually have decent enough toilets where you can go and do some of your drug gas and stuff, right? And usually they turn into kind of hangouts because they just turn into hangouts. I'm not too sure why. I, I don't know. The, the toilets in Berlin aren't nicer than anywhere else in the world. They're still skanky. They're still covered in fucking urine and, you know, ejaculate and any other else blood bodily fluids. So it's not like a nice place to go. But I think because of the whole culture around doing the drugs inside of a, inside of a cubicle and not doing them on a the dance floor, they turn into their own little spaces. So the cubicles turn into like another version of a smoking area where people go and just hang out and chill. And sometimes like myself included, I've had some really, really great conversations in toilets like to the point where you're like oh my god i've met my best friend but obviously you're like tripping on fucking you know ecstasy and shit so it's clearly your fucking emotions are super heightened but i've had always a great time in there and for me personally i've been fortunate enough to be good vibes because when you go into those type of places you're obviously going into like a mostly lgbtq queer space anyway so you have to be a little bit understanding of the environment you're in you kind of have to move accordingly and sometimes unfortunately just because of the nature of the game you know i think on their side they can just probably tell just by looking at you that you scream hetero you stream straight you stream flipping masculine energy so sometimes it can kind of frighten them and they sometimes just don't want to be near you but sometimes if you do get if they do like the cut of your jib they like your smile they just think you're like you as a fucking black man sometimes in my case i kind of have to use that they will sometimes just say hey why don't you come in with us and that's always one of the best validations you could ever get if you go into like a fucking techno club in berlin and the gay guys invite you into their cubicle to share drugs or to do drugs with them that legitimately is one of the best stamps of approval you could ever have that legitimately means that you have arrived you've been accepted into community you're part of it like there's nothing more that brings a smile on my face than being invited into a freaking piss covered toilet with these strange ripped men right and doing drugs with them and talking about world affairs it's fucking incredible i absolutely love it but for me when i've always gone out and again maybe this is kind of this is kind of sad. I'm going to preface it. This is kind of sad. But sometimes when I go out, I will sometimes go out of my way to bring more stuff than I need in the hopes that sometime <laughs> that I might bump into somebody <laughs> and I'll be, we might become friends and I can share some stuff. It's kind of fucking sad. It really is. Because I remember I was thinking about it the other day. Like I used to do that with menthol cigarettes. Like I've never been a smoker. Um, I I barely, if ever, smoke weed. Um, but I can't really smoke cigarettes. Just not something that kind of vibed with me. I'm lucky about that. But sometimes when I was a, in my real losery era, when I was going to like fold every other fucking weekend, this was like before the pandemic, right? I was at fold literally every other weekend. I used to live there. Um, I would sometimes buy menthol cigarettes in the hope that I would go to the smoking area and just be hanging out with people and be able to like, make friends and befriend people in the smoking area by, you know, fake smoking these fucking menthol cigarettes. Which is sad because if you know anything about a smoking area in a bar or a club, you don't need to smoke to stand in a smoking area. You can just go there to get some fresh air and just talk to people without having to fake smoke. Do you know what I mean? So I did all that shit and it was fucking ridiculous. But an extension of that is sometimes I will purposely bring more drugs than I need just so I might be able to share them with people and i'm okay with that and it doesn't matter what i have i'll just you share it because it's quite it's, it's a nice thing to do and sometimes it's, I, I think in my head it's nice sort of like karmically to be that person that kind of extends that olive branch like hey i know you don't have anything so here's something here oh they have to pay you no it's just completely free and then you can think maybe in the future they might do the same thing for somebody else they might kind of pass that favor on unlikely because you know people are very um possessive with their drug ass and shit but i hope that could be the case so let's flip and scroll down right let's go down and see what some of these people say because i'm curious to see what some of the flipping replies were from the people on this flipping community subreddit 
So it says, sometimes you give, sometimes you take. Always happy to give to people. I'm vibing and strangers have helped me in times of great need. It's fine to ask. Don't take that as a personal affront. Chill out. You can always politely say no, saying that you don't have to have much or something. Exactly. I don't really think that's a bad thing. Like that's one of the things I think if you're going to ask for one thing, don't ask for guest list. I think asking for a guest list to go into a club is kind of pathetic. Um, I know there's some people that ask the guest list to go to a club when they don't have any money. I'm purposely the perp I'm I'm specifically the type of person that will not go outside if I don't have money. I'm very uncomfortable about going outside to a bar, to a restaurant, or just to see friends and not have a dollar to my name. Like I have to have money. I have to have some money in my pocket. But some people are so fucking broke, are so damn bad that they would actually go out and not have money in their pocket and then ask somebody to kind of give them stuff. It's like that's ridiculous. But if you're going to ask somebody for something, I think asking for drugs is perfectly fine. Maybe a drink is perfectly fine. But asking for a guest list is redacted. That's losery. You should probably just stay your ass at home. My personal opinion. But I could be wrong. Um, another one says, lines for me are social things. So always share. Exactly. Um, there's obviously a benefit in it. This person says, Ket, yes, cocaine, no. I'm cheap. Um, uh, let's continue here. Another person says, I always buy, exactly, see, this person's after my, is, 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 is on the same vibe that I'm on. I always buy more than what I need to be able to share. That's where I am as well. well I always buy more than I need. Always to share. Um, obviously, somebody wants to give me money for it, then I'll, I'll flip and take it. Who wouldn't? But I'm not going around there trying to become fucking Pablo Escobar. It's just like, you know, if someone's, you know, you're, you're catching a vibe with somebody, you're having a good time, the banter's there, you hand it to somebody. And also, it's not done as a ruse to start talking to girls because i see some guys do that too don't be that guy like i know some guys out there that use it as a like tactic to start talking to girls it's not that if anything it's like just a, it's an extent it's like a it's like a little cherry on top of the little friendship exchange oh my god i like that oh my god you like that oh my god i like it and then you have a little chat and then you hand somebody and it's like that's it and if anything sometimes i hand it to somebody and i walk away i'll be like hey here had this oh can I, can I paste no, that's fine take it and then you walk away so that there's none none of that kind of like they don't feel like as if they like not have to like stand with you because that's sometimes the awkward thing about clubs you give somebody something then they feel as if they they have to kind of like stand next to you or they have to kind of be with you they kind of like it's almost like you own them it's like no nah, it's not that deep i'm just giving it to you because you're a good vibe we had good banter we made each other laugh here enjoy yourself we'll see each other on the dance floor or whatever I think that's perfectly fine. If you don't share, Karma will remind you the next time at the bouncer. That's that's fucking ridiculous. That's dumb. You don't have to share your stuff if you don't want to. Um, bouncer's not going to do anything. That's fucking stupid. Another one says, sucks when you're solo in a ca full cabin though. Have to break off six lines just for sharing space. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. But you don't have to give them six lines. You can easily, as that kind of person says, you can easily give somebody a bump. You have to give them all six. That's that's fucking crazy. Um, I think that's dumb. You can easily give them a bump. If they don't want a bump, then, you know, they don't get it. But you don't need to give them six full fucking lines. Six slugs just to get into the cubicle. It's fucking, it's a crazy tax to pay. And that one says sharing is caring, whether it's drugs or hugs. Get Got lucky once by sharing blow and ended up getting a blow job in return. <laughs> okay, I'm not advocating for this. I don't co-sign this sort of stuff. You don't need to exchange drugs for fucking sexual favours. That's not what I'm in it for. I'm just in it for the vibe. I'm in it for the banter. I'm in it for the community. I'm in it for the fucking random Instagram followers and stuff. And that's something also I have to be honest that I'm going to stop doing. I think sometimes the magic of the encounter of the conversation of the chat of the hang is lost when you straight away go oh my god let's be friends on instagram or let's follow it just it kills the conversation i think sometimes when you're in a club and you're having a great time i think it's nice just to have that great time and just center in it just kind of be be present in that great time you're having smiling bantering with each other and then if you see each other later on or you see each other at another party and then you want to exchange details, cool. But you don't need to do it in that moment. It's unnecessary. It kind of kills the conversation. It kind of like brings it to an abrupt halt. Oh my God. And now you're kind of awkwardly looking for your phone. You're trying to get network. You're trying to search for your name while your eyes are moving in different directions. It's not the way to go personally. I'm, I'm definitely not going to, I'm definitely going to stop doing that because I've got an Instagram full of randoms who I don't know, you know, from nights out. And it's just like, you know, like, now what you know 
why invite someone in if you just to make them stand there awkwardly or why join someone's cabin and don't share don't be a cunt agree with that one not only in Burkhardt and the underground scene in general used to be a yes after starting to test our own stuff beforehand it's now usually a no um oh yeah i guess but that's kind of boring isn't it just roll the dice um drugs are for sharing what kind of prick doesn't share their drugs exactly and that's where i fucking love it that's where i'll leave it there Drugs are for sharing. What kind of prick doesn't share it? I don't know what kind of prick doesn't share it. Why bother going out if you're not going to share? I don't know. I don't know.